Welcome guys to a new tutorial by NigelFX. Uh, we are going to continue working on the uh, Chaos Vantage series for the car rendering and this time we have to play with the environment to add some plants and stuff like that. So the idea was to continue working completely inside 3ds Max. So we got to save this one as version number 6 and then we can play with the uh, with the environment and the various stuff. Uh, using Chaos Cutter doesn't work using the direct link with Vantage, but you know uh, there is the version inside Vantage that works finally in a really nice way. So it is a possibility, and we'll see maybe how it works in a coming tutorial series. By the way, for the moment, let's go to connect to uh, Vantage. But it's just to show you that it's not possible to see the Chaos Capture working in the scene. So let's wait. Okay, and here we have our Chaos Capture view we can set to just a real-time view okay we didn't load the stuff so it's just to see uh, how it works so uh, if I like to have for example some plants here uh, I should go here and create let's say a plane we'll tweak how it looks later and this one is a just uh, let's say uh, grass placement then we have to merge something and uh, you know that we uh, prepared all the plants we downloaded last time so let's go in the vantage folder three plants we have flowers and then we have for example grass here uh, we are talking about FBX, so we have for sure to take care about it. Okay, this one is essentially... Okay, no, we need a different one let's see because this one is set in a way that we uh, we can use it so let's go for example this one obviously materials are not working so uh, you see this one is okay uh, it needs just to be scaled but we are going to use this kind of plants for the other so let's go to pick something and uh, we can go in the poly heaven uh, we go in the model nature and let's see just some you know uh, we have flowers flowers maybe this one can be useful and let's see if we have some kind of grass simple grass I don't want so much stuff I like just to have you know some small prints around So maybe we can use also this one. Let's see this one as, as it is set. Because, okay, we are talking about maybe not geometric stuff. So that's why it is not working in the way we like. But this one can be the right one and maybe also this one. Uh, so let's go to download and download so we have two assets that can work in a really nice way okay uh, we have it so let's go here peak and we move 
in the same folder where we have the project and we are talking about the dedelium and the flower now this one oh we add it so by the way it's not a problem so dandelion and flower okay back in 3ds max and we go to create a new layer with this one and we have plants so we can import directly inside this folder here this layer yep okay we go to have the plants around here to be able to pick the stuff step by step and then another import and we are talking about this flower yep nice the scale seems right so i think we can go with something like that by the way um let's get you uh create a cow scatter uh we'll be not able to see the stuff inside the scene here and let's call it cs side so we know that we have some plants there and then maybe we go to create something there it's not a problem for the moment i like just to take care about it uh, so we choose the model we have to use for the placement this one and we share the model we are going to use here and i go to pick this one this one this one this one this one and maybe this one this one and this one okay so it is doing something uh but we can go to have a different scaling so let's say that we go to scale using the model scale and then about the visualization let's say that we like to have full so we see the plants uh, we are talking about 1000 instance that's really high let's say 100 uh, we are not going to use the camera clipping because maybe we need to move the camera so for the moment that's the right one uh, let's say maybe 200 uh, then I like to uh, have uh, maybe just the scaling so let's say that we go for 50% to 120% then we go to move this one a little bit up and then maybe we have to scale it you see that actually uh, that's too big so we go lower so we have plants just in this area okay um, and then maybe uh, the scale is too much so uh, let's go back and tweak a little bit so let's say that the scaling is between 30% and 75% so the plants are smaller you see uh, so we have some plants around here but the problem is that uh, first of all the materials are not working because obviously uh, we are talking about 
materials that are not compatible with 3ds max so we have to take care about it so let's see first of all this one has flower and podium and i hope that all the same as the same material okay so we have to tweak just one and we should have the same for the other okay so um I think there was a problem with the texture yeah okay so we have to redo it from scratch that's not a problem so uh, we go to create a v-ray material and we are talking about the podium discard all material oh, sorry not the proper material uh, let's start with the first one I go to use the compact one because I need to be really fast to create the material so texture and let's go with a diffuse okay and then we can have a composite to have also the ambient occlusion over so this one is set to multiply and then we go to pick this one we need the uh, the opacity so let's say that we copy this one and we go directly in the opacity here paste and choose for the right one we have the alpha and then we have to move to roughness let's go to have maybe a little bit of reflectivity copy here this one and set to roughness then we have also the displacement and the normal uh, let's double check what we have here okay let's go for roughness we can also have maybe just a little bit more and then let's go with the normal so normal map paste here and choose the right one the normal okay uh, we have everything so this one is done uh, this second one material should be similar so we can essentially copy this one paste here as a copy and then we get to tweak just the maps so we have the same structure as the previous one and we are talking about the uh, this texture here so we go for the diffuse and then we go for the ambient occlusion okay and then let's go to tweak the normal okay then it is time to play with the roughness and then the last one and I'm talking about the opacity okay so materials are done uh, let's go to save and essentially you see that we have no plan so the stuff we have to do is select the cow scatter and say to convert to uh, 3ds max instance in this way we have standard instances inside the same and uh, we will have no problem to take care about the rendering so convert to max geometry and now you see that we have the plans just a little bit of plans around here okay so um, that's good to have the complete setup with uh, 5b okay 
and back to Ctrl Z. Oh, sorry, to maximize the screen. So uh, obviously, if you don't like it, you can essentially pick all the plants. Um, so if we like, you can essentially pick all the uh, instances created by Chaos Cutter and you can directly delete. Now let's say that we go to create a new layer and this one is called Scut. Okay, so everything will be created here. So, uh, checking the environment here, uh, we can say that maybe we can add a little bit more plants, you know? Uh, if you like, you can also uh, use maps to distribute the stuff. By the way, uh, that's okay, we just want some maps, some plants. So let's say again, convert. Okay, it is saying that it can be huge, but we say it's not a problem. And then we have back the plants. Nice. So the plants are created here so remember that if you like you can create a new layer okay so we can do the same for uh, the uh, the back but uh, it will be uh, a little bit more complex because we have more stuff to be used so I get to uh, move for a moment Vantage on the second monitor, so we can play just over this one and then uh, Let's say that we go back to this one Let's set this one here and uh, We go to peak uh, We have grass And let's see the other stuff what we are talking about. So we have grass medium, grass medium number two, and this one. Let's say yes. Okay. So it was the same we uh, used it before, so that's why we had trouble to visualize. By the way, uh, let's go to import something else. So this one is inside, let's go for this one. We have to prepare the new materials for this one. Obviously we get errors about, about it. Uh, so that's okay, we can use this one and we have also the grass here and the trees and I like to pick some rocks so back in nature and let's see if we can have some simple rocks to be scattered this one or maybe this one uh, I like to have, you know, more possibilities, so maybe we can scatter this one and maybe this one and this one. Having more stuff give you the possibility, obviously, to uh, to create something more interesting about this one, it's maybe uh, with a two different color. Uh, let's go for this map and this one too. 
Okay. So it's you see it is working. So let's go back in 3ds Max, and uh, uh, we can essentially start playing with the material. Uh, it is going to use the same material as before, but obviously uh, it is a multi material and sometimes it's worked before because here you see we have the right one so it's more simple to play in, in this way this second one seems wrong there was a problem with the material conversion by the way uh, it's not a problem we can do it manually uh, so let's say that this one is the diffuse and we copy this one is the diffuse yep okay and uh, here this one is the roughness so we know which map we are copying then we have the bump and then we should have also the cutout no no opacity okay okay let's try to rebuild the material so uh, we paste this the one we had before okay and then we play with the texture so not sure if we have the ambient occlusion so we try to build it paste and then paste here and then let's see if we have the ambient occlusion yep we have it and we have also the the alpha I'm not sure why it was not used by the way just to be sure we have the leaves here and the tweaks here so maybe here we don't need the um, uh, the uh, the opacity so let's don't take care about it we have the normal okay and then we go to have essentially the roughness so paste and inside we go to peak the roughness okay uh, so then we have to remove the opacity let's say that this one is not used and then we have the leaves the leaves need for sure something because uh, I think the material is the same but we have the opacity so let's try to copy this one and paste here but then uh, we get to copy the roughness inside the opacity and we select the alpha not sure if we have to do the same also for the other and uh, on this one we get to have a little bit higher specularity and then we have the tweaks but I think that the material is always the same and we need also the opacity so uh, essentially I think that they done a different material just to take care about the specularity and the other properties in a different way. Uh, we are talking about distant stuff so maybe we don't need so, uh, so much and deep uh, control. By the way, uh, it should work so let's say that we pick this plant and we put here just to see uh, if it is working and yeah it's working okay so uh, let's move forward doing the same for the other material and essentially I think that they done the same so the first one is the leaves this time so uh, we can use the same material but we go to tweak the texture used so let's go here 
and we go in the second one and this one is the diffuse let's do the same for the occlusion and then we go to use this one to control the other so uh, we can prepare essentially the same material uh, with let's say that maybe this one has uh, a lower specularity and then we go to choose the right normal map okay then we have to pick the roughness the next thing is that the material is just one because you know we have to uh check some stuff so it's not that bad thing by the way then we need also the opacity paste here and select the opacity okay uh, then we get to say that this one has an higher specularity because we are talking about the foliage and then we will decide if uh, we have to do something more complex by the way uh, copy and then we go to paste here and we go to have just a lower specularity and then we copy this one here and we paste here okay so then uh, we can move back this one and it is time to import also uh, the map so let's go in the download and uh, we pick the rocks ctrl x and then we go in the free plants and paste here uh, so let's unwrap and um, unzip here and also the second one okay so uh let's move forward with the import and uh, we pick the first rock let's say okay okay we should have no problem with the maps i think this time okay and then let's do the same with the others okay so uh you see we have essentially uh, a nice amount of stuff that can be used so let's go to save the scene and then we have to take care about the materials to tweak it so um, I just prepared materials using the same way uh, we used it before so now we uh, we can move forward preparing uh, a nice setup for cow scatter over the uh, the mountain on the other side so um, let's try to do something so I get to create a new cow scatter and this one needs to stay on the right layer so let's double check uh, we have to move it here by the way this one is CS uh, let's say mountain and uh, it needs to be moved so now it's stay on the right layer and uh, and then we go to play with the scatter I like to double check the amount of okay uh, it is not so complex by the way um, let's go back to use the clay because we don't need to remove the edge spaces um so let's go to pick this one and say that we are going to use this one but uh we are going for sure to use uh a spline to control where we have the the plants and where we have no plants uh we're going to use essentially a spline because i'm not sure if we are going to use the camera in animation so i prefer to have 
something that is controlled by a spline. Uh, so let's say that for the moment we have something like that. And uh, we say this one is the CS mountain region. Uh, so back here, and uh, then we go to uh, essentially a rock. Let's say to use the scale we had before, uh, the right one from the model. And then. It is using this one. It is strange because the scale seems wrong. By the way, uh, let's double check step by step. So here we go and say to use a point cloud. Okay, so essentially it seems it is working. So let's say full. Okay, now we have the rocks. And the rocks are inside and uh, it should be based on the, uh, this one is the top. Let's go here. And I think it's related to, let's say we go to the front. Okay, it's related to the, um, to the people for sure. So let's say mountain, uh, we say that we have just one. And uh, let's go to tweak a little bit. Just a little bit, so we are not going to have the people on the ground. So it has some tweaks. Okay. Okay, you see that it is going a little bit other and the others are okay. Okay. So back to the top using the T key. And then let's pick again this one. Okay. So uh, let's say that we have 100 clone, 100 instance for this model. And then we say to use a spline. So we can directly say that this one stay over there. And we'll try to use this one as a spline exclusion. Okay. Maybe we can use also uh, a lower amount because we see uh, a not so big area here. So let's say that this one is right and then we can move this one forward. Okay, back here inside the cow's cutter. Uh, we need to avoid collision this time. It's going to use 100% to avoid. And it should be okay because, you know, uh, we have mainly uh, the, uh, the mountain uh, here that has a lot of rocks actually. So uh, we'll try to see later. So for the moment, I think we have some trouble with the update sometimes. Uh, by the way, uh, let's go to remove and then we go to add everything. And the first time we go to have a not so huge amount of rocks. I'm adding all the rocks. Okay. Um, and then let's say that the scaling is, let's say, maybe 20% uh, and the maximum of 40%. So 
So some rocks are bigger, some rocks are smaller and stuff like that. And then I like to add some plants so uh, we can uh, go to add plants from the air. So we pick this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's get to tweak also the orientation. So um, let's say maybe zero five. So it's using the normal and the rotation. So it's going to use partially uh, the Z axis and partially the normal from the face. Now this one uh, need for sure an higher amount of plants. So let's say that we can see until 10,000 distances and let's limit an higher level. Uh, it will be for sure a complex, a more complex setup. We say to use uh, a lower amount um, we have to tweak it manually so let's say this one is 0 0.25 same here so we go lower for rocks and we go higher for plants I think we we'll go still lower in a few but I like to see what's going on because we have a lot of rocks at the moment then we have still rocks and again here we have rocks and we have rocks. Okay, so now we have more plants and less rocks. Um, then let's go to add the other plants. So let's pick also the bigger one. Okay. And I like to see how this is moving forward. Uh, for this image, obviously, we can also say to use the clipping and then uh, we can create something different. That's our camera, right? I think there is something wrong with the camera. Yeah, there is something wrong. Uh, because we see the camera in the right way here. But... It is on the other layer. That's the problem. Okay? Yeah, so that's the uh, the other one we are using. So again, let's go back here and say to use the one we have in the other layer. So we'll have the, uh, the scatter visible inside the camera. It takes just a little bit, obviously, to to update. We should see in a few. Okay. And uh, uh, now I'd like to uh, see if we can solve the visualization issue we have. And then uh, we try to see uh, if we can have more plants and also, you know, some small trees 
or maybe just the grass we used before. Uh, by the way, let's see if it is updating manually, just moving a frame, or you can use the update directly in there. And another thing, we can set to off this one because we don't need it anymore. So just to solve it, we can say that we have just three clones. And, uh, and then it needs to do no calculation and we have no update. Okay, so that's a solution to have it really fast. Uh, then back on this one, and I like to have more uh, instances, obviously. So let's try with 1000 and let's go to double check the update here. We have no automatic update so I think I set on the wrong one so this one needs to have no automatic update and this one has the automatic update okay uh, so that's better but uh, we have to double check some stuff in rendering because I'm not sure and I think we can use a lower amount of uh, rocks because we are using the right one but I like to still tweak a little bit so let's go for 0 0.05 0 0.05 and the same for the others so we are using more bushes, maybe something can have a different amount. Oh, sorry. Okay, this one is right. And then we go to tweak the other. 05, uh, 0 0.5, 0.07. And 0 0.04 just to make variation, you know, it's not so important to have the right value because we have a lot of rocks and I like to have a lot of bashes. And now we have also, <coughs> sorry, to add plants. So uh, let's go for 0 0.06 and 0 0.03 okay we have more bushes and uh, less rocks okay so uh, let's go to add more plants and I think the other plants are uh, we have to find it just to okay we are talking about this area okay so back to the uh, mountain cow scatter and we go to select this one this one this one this one this one and more and more okay okay let's try to have more I think we need a, a huge amount to have something nicer it is not updating so uh, it is due to the max amount of polygons uh, we are talking about a lot of polygons so we have to be sure that it will be able to uh, render something like that okay we have to make a test essentially uh, because uh, you remember that it is not able to render something like that 
so we have to try to move the data directly inside Vantage. Uh, but just to say, uh, we should be able to do a preview using V-Ray GPU. Uh, we tried to do it straight without any uh, kind of uh, tweaks, so let's try. Uh, I got an error because uh, it was linked to Vantage and the problem is the natural rendering, this one, this option. So if you like to try, you have to remove this one and set to off. Uh, by the way, I think we can directly tweak some stuff and export everything. So let's try to do it. We have 2500 and the maximum amount is 500. Uh, 10,000 sorry uh, so I will try to have more I'm not sure about the rocks because you see the rocks are in a strange position but it is also uh, right that we have um, the displacement so I think I'm going to remove the, the smallest one so I'm talking about the uh, empodium yep okay so let's go here and we go to remove the smaller so remove remove and the same for the other so we have just the bigger one because I like to create a simple setup nothing so complex Okay, um, maybe let's do just scale up for the model. So we are going to scale the plants here. Okay, I think we have to remove partially the collision detection because it's removing a lot of stuff so let's see that collision is 50 percent of the uh, proxy so you see that now we have more stuff inside and save and then let's try to to make everything converted to a max geometry yeah, uh, we know that we have a lot of objects, so let's try. And then uh, let's try to say that this one is not available. Uh, and we have just dots. Okay. And save again. Now we need to have back vintage. And we'll try to export everything again in Vantage to see how it looks. So we have also the possibility to understand if we need uh, more plants or not. And connect. Let's see. It is uh, obviously a little bit uh, heavy because we have 400 instances for the plants. Okay, um, uh, something is uh, visible. First of all, it works with a depth of field. It is nice, but we have, first of all, to tweak a material here because something is uh, still uh, purple so there is something that is not compatible um, and to tweak it we can essentially use now uh, this one as the real-time viewport because now it works so uh, I think we are talking about something here so let's reset and then we start with the first one so let's pick this one 
and we have two materials and one is this one okay okay so we have to copy the same and paste okay and this one is one of the materials so you see it's darker so uh, I think we can play a little bit the with the material we have here so for example uh, let's have an iron reflection for the grass here let's say that we have an higher IRR um, then we do the same for the other plant and I'm talking about this one and I think we can have a brighter color so let's go for a color correction and we'll try to have something that is better It's not the right one so the leaks should be the other so is this one right uh, let's say that we have an higher specularity uh, an higher IRR and we can tweak the map here using a color correction as we were doing using an higher value so you see the color are better yeah so some stuff can be darker and some stuff can be uh, a little bit different so we can also tweak the color with a color correction Okay, uh, so the main problem is essentially uh, that we need to have um, more plants. So uh, it is not enough what we've done for the moment. Um, so I think we have to tweak uh, a little bit. So the idea is to say, uh, okay, let's go to pick the Yes, mountain converted. Okay, and we remove it. Then we can go back to the uh, to the cow scatter and say that we like to have more. So let's say uh, I think we have something more. mountain and uh, let's say that we go to have double plants and then we say that we can convert everything to instances okay It's a little bit better, but I like to create more variation. So, pick again everything. And also, there is something strange that is happening, uh, and it's related to having a clone. Not sure why it is bearing in this way. By the way, uh, let's go here. 
and we say that we like to have more variation about the scaling so let's say uh, maybe seven percent but I like to see also the plants in viewport so and the maximum scale let's go still lower let's try it with five and then let's say 50 so some stuff are bigger some stuff are smaller and then about the uh, rotation let's say that we go higher with z so let's say 0 to 75 so they are moving more over the z axis and then we we'll try to have still a little bit more plants okay then let's say update then we say that we can go for having points and then we can convert to max and we have three times the plants we had at the beginning uh, so uh, something I like to double check is essentially why we have let's double check if we pick all the mountain converted here and we say they are not visible okay it is changing something and let's do the same on the others not sure why it is splitting the stuff yeah that's strange okay by the way uh, let's think about the layers later so we have this one let's say to open our setup okay um, that's the depth of field we have um, I like to uh, double check something about the uh, the wet layer over the asphalt so we're going to pick this one and see this map okay and uh, this is the zoomed version of this map preview let's try to go lower to 7 it is starting to be more visible you see so that's better and maybe we can use a gray color for this one so we have a little bit of wet layer all over you can see more if we go for something like that so we have a basic wet layer all over the, uh, the street there and then we have just a little bit more in some areas and we can go maybe just a little bit lower okay uh, then if we like we can use the same map to have a darker color over the asphalt so if we go here uh, we can add a new layer paste here and say that we have black here and white here and this one is set to multiply uh, and it's going to have darker area where it is wet okay so uh, that's done 
ya I think that's done uh, we have to pick this one and maybe we can move it a little bit down so let's say minus two so we go a little bit down and uh, if we like we can have the same plants over the other side just if we like you know um, so to do something like that we can make it manually so uh, the idea is that you know we can uh, essentially say this one is the top view and we can pick the same plants we had here to the other side because no one would be uh, able to see what's going on so uh, this one can be a group and let's say that uh, it is grass side sx and we make a clone calling dx and just to have uh, a small variation we can essentially uh, rotate over z by 180 degree and move it in the right place here so you see we have small plants all over okay okay uh, then select camera um, the depth of field is based on the uh, target distance so uh, first of all let's go to save then we uh, we try to have back our car this one and say that the Ferrari is visible now we should have back the car also in the render view okay we have it uh, so uh, let's go to have back the view and we'll try to make some tweaks so we have the depth of field but uh, we can try to have uh, to have something different so let's say that okay let's try to Okay, that's not bad. Let's say that we go for five sides, uh, maybe with a rotation of 30 degree. And let's see. Let's do it really much, a lot of much visible, so we can find, you know, best settings we can do also uh, directly inside the viewport but we are near here I'd like to play manually to find the best one okay essentially um, we should have something like that but we go obviously lower about the aperture
we have to find something that works and that doesn't change too much, you know, uh, the scale of the project. So. I'm going to also to, you know, to find uh, uh, which is the one that works nicely inside the viewport. That's not just linked to what we have inside the scene. Let's go back to zero ten and. Uh, Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, back to here because we lost everything. So let's go to our back a little bit of rotation and the aperture side a little bit bigger uh, regenerate the displacement okay because it was lost um, and then I think Let's go to say the scene again as the number six. Yeah, we like to save. And uh, I like to go just for a moment inside the uh, advanced to double check if we have something that needs to be tweaked. I'm not sure if we can see the differences with this one or we go too slow, by the way. Let's go higher with the quality and then essentially I like just to play a little bit here. Let's see. if we have something a little bit darker like this one and uh, uh, let's double check the color this one can stay the general color at zero I'd like to see if we can have a little bit of saturation You know, in this way you can change completely the look of the image. Let's see without the color balance. Uh, it's not bad. I think that's nice. And back maybe just for a moment inside the camera to double check if we can have a little bit more depth of field so save the game and let's go to full screen at maximum quality okay let's go lower to 15 so you see it is less than before and uh, I think I'd like to play again um, a little bit with the uh, material over there, over the mountain so let's go smaller and let's say this maximum view and then we go back to the material 
to this one. We were using the uh, just this one, so maybe we have the UV map here. And let's try to see what's going on. If we go a little bit higher. Let's try maybe to have just this one in viewport so it's faster. So now it is back. Uh, we had a trouble before it crashed. So uh, I will try to use less this one and I will try also to to play a little bit more with the material to do something more complex so uh, let's say that maybe uh, this one is okay but we go to mix something and uh, to mix something we have to pick a new texture so let's go back here Let's go in the texture, the rain, and let's see if we have something more that can be used, like I want to create something that is not so uh, different. So. Let's search for something together. Um, no, this one is not nice. Let's get to see what we can use. I know that this one is not the best one, but maybe something like that can work. By the way, uh, I'd like to double check this one is the Iron Rocks 4, so it's essentially this one. Uh, we can try to have maybe this one, so Terrain. Okay. We are downloading the map. So we are using uh, uh, essentially this material as a V-ray blend material um, we go to copy this one here I'm not sure if, if this one crashed no not sure no okay it seems working so um, let's say that we have the same, but it's using a mask based on the noise. Uh, I have to double check, obviously, if this one can work. By the way, for the moment, let's go here. And then we move the stuff in the right folder. Okay, uh, addition texture, let's put there and I go to uncompress everything and we go to pick this one. Okay, it's using a subfolder so we can find it in a really fast and simple way. Uh, so on the second one, let's say Rocky 2. Uh, we go to pick the other map so we go here and we pick the the color we 
we do the same for the multiply and with occlusion and then we do the same for the other so the normal and we should go to use also the other texture map for the displacement but that's not a problem for the moment so let's say that we use this one for the normal because we should create uh, a complex mixture between uh, both texture to have the right one so for the moment let's say that then we have this one that is the roughness okay um, let's try to regenerate and then let's go to full screen and we have to take care about this one okay and then we have to find the right one okay so you see that this uh, a little bit more complex than before you see mixing two layers give us the possibility to have something that is more complex and then I try also to go higher with the displacement so we have more variation and let's try still more we have not to exaggerate because we have also the scatter so uh, let's try like that and save N then now we try to have back everything inside the scene so uh, we can have a possibility to double check everything so let's go to have back everything okay uh, so that's uh, what we have at the moment uh, that's the result we have and I have to say that that's not bad uh, it is nice it works nicely uh, maybe uh, oh, we can just try to have something better but I'm not sure so let's say that we go at full screen here uh, we try to double check if we can have uh, a little bit less depth of field Oh, sorry that's too much obviously let's go lower so it will be less also there uh, I think it works in a better way uh, you know so uh, let's go back to play just a little bit with the saturation just to be sure that we don't need it but that's not bad okay I think we are still here a problem because the mesh is going up so we should go maybe at minus 2.4 and then we have to double check that the plants are not flying because you know uh, this one can be an issue but it seems working we see something there but it's really not so much so for the uh, for the suit frame it's not a problem I think it is going to uh, to work so let's try just to see to save okay yeah we like to and then I like just to double check the lighting to be sure that uh, it is going in the right way so 
then we have to move the stuff also by the way uh, that's the lighting we have at the moment and uh, I'm trying to decide uh, if we can add also a sunlight this one is set to off and that's okay uh, I like just to double check if using a, a sunlight can help but maybe we can also try here directly you know so we can play with the one we have inside Chaos Vantage uh, it will be essentially something that is added to the scene in Vantage okay so um, let's try to tweak the orientation because and also the altitude so we go lower but we need to have the sun coming from the other side okay um, let's remove the bloom for a moment okay um, using a really uh, high value for the moment just to uh, to play a little bit with the position because we know for sure that the light is coming from the side okay maybe something like that and then we can go lower with the intensity and just making some tests okay um, I think uh, it can work maybe let's try to see if we have no specularity so it's going to touch just the the lighting in general let's go back here and say that it's less powerful to 0, 3, 5 or 3, 6 just to add a little bit of some power you know uh, let's go back to the fog and see with the scattering fox that's really huge let's say I'm sorry fog eight fog distance let's try to have this one higher let's say more This one is using the scattering, so it's uh, better about the quality based on the one we are using. It's uh, obviously it's lower to be calculated, but uh, you know, maybe we can try just to use the other and see if we can make it. A little bit more visible and maybe also the second one is a little bit more visible yeah uh, I think it works uh, we should do obviously uh, a complete render to to be able to know if it is working in a nice way or not obviously this one is not the final quality by the way let's go to save the scene and uh, we are ready uh, to make a test for example you can actually say okay 
let's render a night quality still image uh, let's say yes and then your resolution uh, that's okay to use 2000 no denoiser we are going to use the light cache and then we are not going to uh, we are going to save for the moment of test so let's say here advantage uh, let's call it test render car part 6 test render okay and then start it is rendering uh, it takes a little bit uh, we are using a really high value but we'll see uh, the result in a few together okay let's go to uh, double check the final quality for our render to be sure that is going to be enough or we have to tweak something so let's render and let's go to open this one and uh, I think that's really nice uh, we have a nice quality we see uh, the refraction here we see the wet layer over there we have the plants we have the plants also there maybe uh, we can just think about removing uh, a little bit of saturation just if we like uh, but this one is our render so we can maintain it and then we can just say okay let's remove a little bit of saturation manually but I think we are losing something so let's leave this setup and uh, uh, you will be able to do whatever else so uh, you have the setup so you can play as you prefer without any issue so uh, we have the scene uh, actually we can also think about uh, playing with the um, the animation and in this case we are going to have the animation done in 3ds max maybe uh, we can double check with the other uh, project what we can do directly inside Vantage uh, so let's move forward to the next part guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you really soon for part 7